Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of EKU Cast. Today we're going to look at one of the fastest growing programs at EKU, the Fire and Safety Engineering Technology Program. Established in 1975, this program is one of the few in the country that offers undergraduate degrees in fire and safety. But that's not all. It's also the only fire, arson, and explosion investigation program in the whole world. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Let's take a look. Fire in the hole! The Fire and Safety Engineering Technology Program has four options. We send people into private industry to be safety managers. We send people into investigations to investigate fires and explosions. We prepare people to be fire officers. And we send people to work with sprinkler systems and engineering, fire protection engineering solutions. Uh, this is a unique program. There are hundreds of community college two-year associate programs in the nation, but there are only a handful of baccalaureate or higher programs in the nation. And of those, we're one of the most diverse. Uh, the strength of any college program is its faculty, and I'll put our faculty up against any. They come from very diverse backgrounds, and they all have a lot of experience. Uh, I looked at several other schools, and Eastern was one of the more affordable ones. And when I actually visited colleges, the program that Eastern offers is a lot better than some of the other programs I looked at. What I like most about the program here at Eastern Kentucky is uh, the diversity of knowledge that you're able to gain from not only the professors, but the different students that you come in. You get students and teachers from all over the country with just knowledge that won't beat anywhere else. Our students in the fire program here at EKU come from all over the country, in part because there are so few programs like this, and second because of the quality of the program. But we draw students from all corners of the United States and even uh, the Middle East and places like that. The reputation of the program draws them and the, the activities that are available here and the quality of the faculty. After I graduate my, with my bachelor's, I plan on staying here at Eastern and going to graduate school for my safety, security, and emergency management degree. Here in the spring, I'll probably start testing for different fire departments and just uh, see where my career will take me with this degree. The students from the fire program, when they graduate, go in a number of different directions. Some of the people in safety will typically go become a safety manager in industry. Other people will go straight into a fire department. Some will become a recruit firefighter. Some will take mid-level jobs, maybe as a training officer. Some will elect to go to police departments because the police department may have a connection to fire or arson explosion investigation. Some will go to the military and do some of these same kinds of things. So they come from a wide background and they go back out to an equally wide background. Uh, if someone's interested in this career, I definitely suggest looking for a degree. Uh, here is among the best that you will find in our country. Uh, really the degree will help push you in whatever direction you can and I would also suggest to look into coming to Eastern Kentucky uh, freshman year, getting started as soon as you can because of the opportunities over this, not only during the school years but over the summer that you're able to obtain from uh, just being here. If you'd like more information about EKU's Fire and Safety Engineering Technology Program, you can check their website at www.fireandsafety.eku.edu or call them at 859-622-1009. That about wraps up this edition, but before we go, I want to remind you of the Chautauqua Lecture Series at EKU. The topic of the series is freedom. On Thursday, January 22nd, Juan Li Yang will speak on Taking Freedom for Granted, Human Rights in China. Then, Thursday, February 5th, Bernice Johnson Reagan will speak on The Song, Culture of the Civil Rights Movement. Both lectures will be at 7.30 p.m. at O'Donnell Hall in the Student Services Building. That wraps up this edition of EKUCast. See you next time.